8.58, we are headed to the Desert Industries thrift store. And yeah, the sun's shining, it's good morning. So the navigation this morning on Monday, our phone, my phone was like, hey, do you wanna to go to Deseret Industries in Saratoga Springs? I was like, yes, I do, how's traffic? <laughs> <laughs> traffic is usually pretty good, it's not that far. No. We'll see, there is a long line already. Like, I am actually surprised at all the people. It's 8.58, we got two minutes to go get in line before they open. But last week there was like four people here and we were late, so. What do I need out here today? That's just kind of a chintzy lantern, but this one for 10 bucks, oh, I wish it was five. <laughs> Found this cookie nut jar and a rolling pin right off the bat. This is $2. I don't know what the price is on this one. $4. Alright, so the candles and the tchotchkes. So I always gotta squat down to see if there's any good candlesticks. I don't see anything I can't live without. I'm curious if Zeb's gonna pick up that one. I'm gonna leave it and see what happens. Look at see if there's any like tchotchkes. There's some nativity pieces, so maybe Zeb will pick those up. This is cute. I think it needs a new paint job. No price. I think if they give it to me for like a buck, I'll take I it. Get up here and see. That's a big galvanized clock. The New Era Paris. Ten bucks. It's coming home. All right, now I got to find some small stuff because I've got ten dollars, ten dollars. I'm up to twenty bucks with two pieces right here. So we got to get some smaller things in this oh, car. I thought this was a mirror. It's just like a wall hanging. Three bucks. I might still get it. So I almost passed on these. I'm like, oh, these are cute. And then I saw the stoppers. There's salt and pepper shakers. I'm definitely going to pick those up. Very kitschy. And they're big. That is a really unique basket. I'm going to go run it by Jamie and see what she says. It's kind of big to ship. That's kind of cool. I like this menorah. It's brass. I'm gonna pick that up. Two bucks. That is, that is a giant clock there, sir. It is. It's galvanized. Look at the numbers on it. It says Paris. I found the matching salt and pepper shakers for the look right here. Oh, there's a whole set. Is it like a cookie jar? Yes, it says cookie nut on it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. All right, I finally found something little. I think there's a whole nativity in here. Look at that. There's even a little sheep. And the baby Jesus, that's what I'm always looking for. That's the hardest to find. On this, it's $1.50. It was maybe like two weeks ago, I found the egg dish. So this would be a nice match. So this whole thing, except for the top, is cast iron. And it's not really uniform, but for $2, I'm gonna take it, we'll paint it, we'll see what we the can do. The trunk is broken, which is always the case on these elephants, but I think I can work with it. It's like a foam or resin or something. So Zeb has already been out here, so we'll see if he left anything behind. He actually left a lot of clocks. I'm pretty proud of him because he could have probably put like eight more in his cart. Loving this. Looks like for, is that for business cards? And holding your knife. I see a book page wreath. I actually really like these. I don't enjoy actually completing them because they're a lot of work. Five bucks. I think I'm gonna snag this. Here, I'll give you a better look at it. Look how cute that is. I think these will be good with a paint job. $1.50 each. Just little frames. Might even put some art in This them. is just good folk art here. Can't tell if this is pewter or not, but it matches another frame that we got. Real similar to that, just small. So I'm walking up to Jamie here. and First thing she says when she sees my basket is, I don't know about that basket. I don't know either because I didn't realize it, but it's broken here. It's already kind of on the weird side. 
<laughs> so I think I'm gonna ditch it. All right, so comment below. Needs a repair down here. Probably just some hot glue would fix that. Not a big deal. It doesn't look like it's structural, but it would be really hard to ship for what we can charge for it. I think I'm gonna leave it here. It's five bucks too. All right, so we're going to look in the frame section. I found this one for $2. The color's not quite right, but the detail is good. I like this one too. Never underestimate little frames with fun detail. Here's another one. These are always cute around the shop with art in them. This is dying for a plank top. It's 15 bucks. Question is, do I have time to plank it? It's kind of just a cool chest. I don't know what its purpose is, what it originally held. So in my never ending search for dishes, I found this plate all by itself. Looks like it's got gold on the edge. No maker's mark, but it's two bucks and it's like a platter. So I'm gonna pick it up. I think this guy here is looking to be uh, turned copper. I think copper, that'll be real good. Not very big. You guys, this is one of our stencils. I did not stencil this box. I don't know where it came from but that's one of our american mills stencil minis <laughs> that's fun i gotta take this box and redo it so at the last store we spent 72 dollars and we didn't get a ton of stuff so we're gonna head to riverton we've been going to american fork but even though they just barely reopened i feel like their stuff hasn't been as good well they've been getting ran over like monday mornings there's literally like this line at saratoga had maybe like 15 people that were going to actually buy stuff in it when we got there and the one at American Fork for whatever reason Monday mornings they got 25 30 people in line and they're all buying the same stuff we are so we're gonna head over to Riverton hopefully it's a little bit better the other thing that's nice about Riverton is usually by the time we're done in and out is open and so we can get a cheeseburger and fries and it just makes the day better oh, now you, now you're talking. <laughs> so we just left the last thrift store and that cute little couple there was at that thrift store too they're like us in like 20 years they're like Monday we're hitting the thrift store I know. It's, it's date. It's where we go for dates. DI. Oh, did you get me a car first this time? Yeah. That's nice of you. So at this particular thrift store, I typically will find like really good dishes. Things that I don't see elsewhere. I don't know why. Hopefully today I can find some more cute things. We'll see. So I don't know if these are old, but I actually think these are cute oh they're modern is there anything else that i can't live without there's a lot of blue dishes i wonder if this is part of that other set that's cute i'm gonna get that one i like it all right definitely like these not old the queen's the royal palace made in england historic royal palaces i'm gonna pick these up there's i really love these cobalt blue plates as well I'm gonna look them up. Um, they don't look as purpley blue as they are in real life, but I promise you they're really pretty. This is pretty cool, but is it grapes? I don't think Jamie can excuse that away as berries. That is grapes. Ooh, $3 grapes. Guys, look at that. That's a good one. I kinda wanna get this bunny basket and repaint it. The folk art's good on there, but it's wrong, wrong colors for me. It's like a long table runner planter thing. Someone took all of Bob Ross's courses. I actually like the frame a lot, but I feel like it needs repainted. This is a really big pressed tin shelf for five bucks. It won't come free. I'm knocking all this stuff down. There we go, I got it. I, I have to buy these. Odelia will die. Even if nobody else wants them, she's gonna want these. So cute. This is kind of a fun little wood planter or something. I don't know, 75 cents. Maybe he held a candle at one point. I don't know. So this doesn't have a price on it, but it's dying for a wood round. <gasps> Look at that. Just needs some love. $900. It needs more love than I can give it. Someone looks like they left a house plan up on there for a hot minute. 
Sounds good. I'm hoping Jamie found some good stuff because this is all I found in the yard. While this painting is really cool, I'm on the fence about it because it's $25. What are you doing? You're looking way too long and hard at that. Although that is a good primitive little chest. I don't even want to know if I call that a dresser. It's like yeah, a... Like the end of a... Does it open from bed? the top? No, it's just like... It probably had a mirror like on the back. 50 bucks, huh? 50 bucks each. Was there more than one? So these legs are like pre World War it's II. An style dresser. I think it's cool. Zeb says he needs my professional opinion. I do. What do you need? So I really like this Bob Ross lookalike painting. It's got the signature down here of who did it. The frame needs help, but it's twenty five bucks. My Too opinion much? is I don't like it. <laughs> so I don't, it's more than I would pay for just the frame is what I'm asking. Yeah, it's very autumn -y. It's not my favorite. Zeb's going to stay and get a tag here, and Guarding I'm it. I'm going to return this for him. I haven't been out to the yard yet, so we'll see what we find. So I'm on my way to put this back. Anybody need some grapes? They got grapes. I feel like every thrift store has a few grapes for you. There's a reason they're at all the thrift stores. Also, look what's hiding here. Some creative co-op candlesticks. Yeah, I'm going to pick up these. Cute. I'm wondering if Jamie came by here and passed this up because it's uh, very Christmassy, but maybe too much Christmas. We usually don't pass on nativities and and good ornaments, but maybe this was too much for her. I'll have to ask. It's three bucks. I'm just wondering. You know, I never know what she's gonna pass on and what I pick up. It's always it's always one of those like mysteries. Although this, this earthenware is it? I found this. It's five bucks. It's a topiary. It needs to be dusted off, but what do you think? Would you buy it? I think, I think it's cute. And I wanna like fix up the bottom. So whenever we're out thrifting, we always look for half gallon jars. They're perfect for buttercup's milk, but also storage, all kinds of things. Not as common as a quart. Right, so I just, they brought out a new cart and I just found this, it's two bucks. Remember I was telling you guys, these are perfect for IOD transfers. So I'm gonna pick up that one. And then I also found this silver bowl. What I like about it is it's heavy. It's not like cheap and it's only two bucks. So I'm definitely picking this up. It's a nice heavy duty piece. So another cart came out and I picked up these two little pieces. It's always good to strike when the carts first come out. So what do you found? So this is a silver look 537 hand wrought tray. Oh, it's but like- I looked it up on eBay and they only sell for like nine to $15. So I think I'm gonna leave it here. I think it's pretty. How much is it? It's $3. I think we should buy it anyways. Some of them go for 25 but I feel like I feel that's like, reaching. I feel like that's a special one. This floral in the middle is like a botanical. It's like a thistle, yeah? Yeah, it's good. All right. Yeah, let's like get it. a pedestal or a stand or something for this, I feel like. Or one of them, maybe like a wood round. I don't see anything know. like that. Like, do we have something at home? We also need to find a little plate for the cloche that we found. All right, I think Zeb's found a match here. So usually we stay away from like the maroon red type colors, but this crackle goes really well with that. And I like how the bowl or the plate is dished up and it just fits really nice down in the bottom. Dollar fifty for this, it's like a stoneware type plate. I think we're just gonna get it and be done. Yeah, I think it's good. And I found this little plate, it's California pottery from Montecito. And we have that dome that I bought at the last store, so that will fit perfectly on here. Also found a couple enamel mugs. I'm a sucker for enamel mugs. I'm never gonna leave them behind. <laughs> and I love like the blue enamel for summer. So we're having to be careful and only load on this side. So we leave this big space for that dresser that I bought. How much did we spend all total between the three stores? So we were like- 70 and 70 and 60, what is that? So we're a little over 200 then. Yeah, I right think around, right around 200. That that's pretty good, especially for that antique dresser. I am debating on if I'm going to paint it or if I'm maybe just going to oil wax it. It's really cool. All right, we got it in. It fits. Sometimes it's better to flip things on the lid. Although, oh, you're squishing my Funko Pop. Kylo Ren is safe. All right, so two thrift stores today. We found some really fun stuff, and I think that we found some things that are going to go well together once we make them over. And that's the trick is finding the things that can be something more than they are when you find them at the thrift store. Yeah, if you're only looking for the gems that don't need any work, it just takes so much longer to thrift. Plus it's not fun because I like to paint stuff. And you usually pay more for that stuff anyway. 
So this Saturday, these are all gonna be in our thrift haul. We are going to pre-record it even though we are going to be on vacation, so don't miss out on that. And if you wanna shop along, we're gonna drop the link below for everything that's existing in our thrift haul. These won't go up till Saturday at 8.30. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. If you like our thrifted finds, be sure to visit jamierayvintage.com. We have a Saturday thrift haul collection and everything is in there, including things from previous thrift hauls and things we have painted. This thrift haul will go live Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time. Hope to see you there.